my name is Kia. I am the spiritual advocate, and I am super freaking excited to have you guys here for my first ever pick a card reading. <laughs> I never did one. I've seen them a lot. I'll be honest, I don't watch them. I watch readings on YouTube, but I don't watch these. But something said, do a pick a card. And not only is it a pick a card reading, it's a love reading. This is a timeless reading. Whenever you see this video, it will be plausible if it resonates with you. If it does, awesome. If it doesn't, oh well. Move on. Um, yeah, so you have, as you see, three different stacks here. You can call it stack one, stack two, stack three. Or you can identify it by the crystals. We have some um, black obsidian right here, some selenite, and some raw tiger's eye. So whichever one it is that you want to pick, if you need a couple of minutes, go ahead and pause this video right there. Take all the time you need. And when you're ready, come back. I'm going to start with pile one. Oh, before I start, I want to let you know, um, I did shuffle all the decks before I pulled. Um... It's only three sitting here, but if the, the, the spirit moves me, then I will come over here or over here where you can't see to my um, lovely tarot and other oracle cards and pull something and see what the universe wants me to add or clarify for you. Okay, so if you're ready, let's get into it. Let's start with deck one, the Black Obsidian. Okay, so we have the Lover's Oracle, we have the, um, what the fuck is the name of this deck? <laughs> Love Angels. <laughs> I think that's it. Y'all know what it is. Everybody uses this damn deck. This deck. And then we have the Mystic Monday deck. Okay, so, um, the first card out for group number one is Power. You instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. That came out with forgiving and learning. As you release and oh, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay. And then you have the high priestess. And I like this combination of cards because um it's all letting you know that you are in control of whatever situation you choose to involve yourself with or not. Um, what I'm getting is that whoever this is going to resonate with, you might be in a, a space of questioning the right thing to do in the moment. Um, you've had certain past experiences for you to get the lessons that it is that you need to be successful moving forward. You have to um, realize that the lessons were learned and you have to have trust in yourself that, you know, once you're confronted, if you're confronted with those same situations, you will be able to identify them. The, the, the energies want you to sit in your power right now. You do not have to do anything that you choose not to do. Um, and you make choices for you. It's that simple. I am going to pull... I want to go over here to the Moonology deck and pull a couple of these cards just to see um, what pieces of advice Spirit wants to give you in regard to how to carry this out. Um, if it's not something you're doing, there's a reason you're not doing it. Why you're not making yourself the priority. While you're, why you are holding on to um, someone else's comfort and stability before your own. Because that's really the energy that I'm getting. Okay, a new romantic cycle begins. Be bold, make the first move. What do you need to release? Uh, you cannot be afraid to move forward into a new situation because of things that have happened in the past. You gotta let that shit go. You have to get out of your own way. There's obviously um, something new coming in for a couple of you guys. And um, you're running the risk of 
you know, kind of self-sabotaging if, if you don't recognize who you are, where you are now, and uh, the difference between who you were and where you were. Totally different circumstances. Um, also, what I'm getting is that some of you are a little bit overwhelmed by the prospect of someone new coming in. I'm hearing some of you were in um, such long relationships and others of you haven't been in situations for so long that you are a little apprehensive about allowing someone new into your um, space. But you need to step out of your way. This is something that you want. It's something that you've been calling in. Do not, um, don't cut your nose off to spite your face, damn it. Allow all that love to come in. Love on yourself and let them love on you, boo, okay? And I'm going to talk to you guys later. Oh, yeah, these are going to be quick. <laughs> Let's move on to deck number two or stack number two. Okay, here we go. Deck number two. How do you do? Let's see what's under here. From the um, Lover's Oracle, we have reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. I like these cards because they're very self-explanatory. <laughs> and then we have from the Romance Angels. That's the name of it. If I fucked it up the first time. <laughs> the Romance Angels Day. Sometimes you got to just let that muscle memory go. Let it, you know, come out. Um, but yeah, so from the Romance Angels Day, we have Calling in Your Soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And lastly, out of the Mystic Monday deck, we have the Hermit. That's why I like these Oracle decks sometimes, because they're very self-explanatory. Listen, just because people separate in the moment, it doesn't mean that a situation is necessarily coming to an end. And sometimes when you stop and you separate from a situation, you have enough time and space to realize, maybe I do want it to come to an end. The point being, whatever is going on in your current situation right now, you need to just take a step back and look at your situation from outside of it. Take some time to... Um, really not just reflect on on the relationship is what i'm getting but reflect on yourself as well um when you got into this situation there were certain energies around it um sometimes it's good to you know step back and take stock reassess the situation and ask yourself am i still where i want to be have i made the right choices is there anything i need to do or want to do to improve upon this situation whether it be stay or go and this is where um the energies are calling you in to do right now um for some of you it'll be a thing of you taking this space to do the reflection and realizing you know what yeah let me get my shit in order because this is the person that i want to be with some of you on the other hand are um going to realize this person is taking up space in your energy and you need to release them to allow that person that is supposed to be there to come in. Um, for those people who haven't necessarily been in a situation for an extended period of time, um, you've kind of gone into this, this, this shell and you need to, um, one, assess what it is that you want. You've been trying to manifest a new relationship, a new partnership, a new situation. Um, but at the same time, you've kind of gotten comfortable in this, this show, your personal space, and it's made you a little bit apprehensive. You have to step outside of your comfort zone now in order to allow this person to come in okay um let me pull some cards and see what's going on with, with little bits of information or um extra information or or guidance 
that's too many. The energies want to give you right now in regard to um, how you should move forward with stepping out of that shell, stepping out of that comfort zone, and really trusting yourself and the um, the lessons that you've already learned from past experiences. Yeah, okay, so, and this is one of the issues. As some of you guys think back, you're thinking back toward the wrong things. You're holding on to the wrong memories. Um, the reflection shouldn't be based on, you know, those situations in the past that caused you the damage that you're now trying to heal from today. The reflection should be on the lessons that have been learned, the growth that you have um, achieved. And then taking those reflections and really gearing them toward your future and how you want that energy to change. It is time for you to make a choice. Do you want to continue to be on this ride alone or do you want the partner that your heart has been calling for that you've really been desiring? You got to get the fuck out of your own way, okay? And I'm not, I, I don't know why, but I just got the feeling, uh, like, not... It wasn't even a feeling. I almost said it. It was like um, spirit was going to force it out. I, I get the, the sense that this is really going to um, hit home with a couple of Librans. Like, let's get it together. You'll be all right. You're strong enough. You are um, wise enough at this point to put that faith and that trust in yourself. Let's get it popping. And I will talk to you soon. Right now, we are about to move. Oh, that don't go there. Yes, we do. We are about to move into deck number three. Okay. Okay, here we go. Last but not least, we have deck number three. Let's see, let's see. From the Lover's Oracle, we have Surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Let it go. And it's funny because these are um, pick a card readings, but at the same time, I feel like it's kind of all related. This, this, all three of these um, messages, and I know I haven't even gotten to the last two cards of clarification yet for this last row, but still, they're all related, even just based off of this one card and everything that's going on in my being. It's all one reading. So, everyone who is watching, just pick and choose what it is that's going to resonate with you more. Okay? Um, next from the row, oh, surrender from the Lover's Oracle. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Um, from the Romance Angels, we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. You're doing lilies or, 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 or on four wheels outside. Well, that one person was. Anyway, and then um, from the Mystic Monday, we have the Five of Pentacles. Oh my goshness. And I feel like there has to be a Virgo somewhere lurking behind this energy. Because the amount of overthinking you're overthinking that you've been overthinking is freaking ridiculous <laughs> um listen it's all about energy and what i'm gonna say to you is if you are watching this video and you have picked deck number three and you are really allowing religious factors to um give you pause in regard to um Moving forward with an individual. Um, that's not your issue. This is something that, that you're, you're worried about. How somebody else is going to feel about how, or excuse me, who you sleep with at night. Who you spend the rest of your life with. Um, 
I, I stress that if you're watching this video, I'm shocked that this is like the least of your worries. I mean, that this is like one of your worries right now because, um, and this is just my personal experience, but I'm going to say it because this is my channel and I'm, I'm curious. So let me know in the comments how you feel about it. But most people who are overly religious don't dabble in um, tarot and energy readings and things of that nature. So how afraid of these other people's perception are you? And then on top of it, I haven't even, this four-wheeler, yo, come on, my guy, come on. I'm trying to make a video here. And then the dirt bike. Are we done? No, we're not done. He went and picked up friends and came back. Are we done? We're not done. Go ahead, mama. Get it, girl. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I always get like that when I see a female on a bike. Anyway, I have my moment. Um, yeah. My the, the bigger question is, how are you more afraid of these people and individuals than this religion and the God or supreme being or whatever the hierarchy is in this religion, how are you more afraid of the people that have um, really no control over you except for the control that you give them than you are afraid of your supreme being? Because even if you can keep you know, all of these other side things that you do with yourself in the dark from them, I would assume that the all knows all, right? Just the question, but moving on, you got to get out of your way. Listen, if this is true love, that energy that's connecting you should be able to supersede any issues, any problems other people have. It's that simple. I want, um, I want more information on this. I want you guys to get specific with me. Because I feel like this, this deck, this um, row, this tiger's eye, this all-seeing eye that's looking into the depths of this energy is looking specifically at like a really small group of people. I don't feel like this one is for the masses. I mean, I know this is something that a lot of people go through. But I feel like this is going to hit one or a couple of people a specific way. Let's see what they want to say to you. I don't know why I felt so deeply about that. I know why, because you're not happy. You're not living in your truth. Stepping into an unknown energy. This is what's going on. This this situation is literally um, pulling people apart. And normally when this card comes out, it's automatically pay attention to the fine prints. Make sure the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. And, you know, so unless um, the issue... Because that's what just popped up to me. Um, unless the issue, and I don't know how that would work, but if it's something pertaining to like a prenuptial agreement, because this is the direction that they're taking me in, I would have never thought of that. Um, if this is for you and it's okay, something about the children. So, is someone trying to put stipulations in a prenuptial agreement about how or what religion children should be raised under? And I feel like um, it's pressure from outside influences. And whoever it's for, you're really considering it. And it's almost as if you're in this space of... Um, Either or. Either I'm alone or I agree to this. And this is an energy I don't like. You being pressured into compromising yourself. 
Okay, so before I was all like, yeah, let it go and just do it. And But you shouldn't be made to compromise yourself. And um, it's unfortunate, but I'm also getting that because of uh, this situation, it's, it's, it's going to lead to a separation. And that's what scares you because you know some of, some of you are going to stand up for yourself. And, um, you know, not move forward with it. It will be a separation and you're scared, you're apprehensive about moving into this space by yourself. But one of the first things that was stated in this reading is surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Surrendering doesn't mean giving in and compromising yourself. Surrendering means giving in to spirit, allowing your guides to take you where you need to be, where you've asked to be. And in order for you to get there, oftentimes it means you got to let old shit go so new shit can come in. And this is where you are, whether it is you letting go of um, your apprehension and fear about how other people will feel about your situation, or whether it's you letting go of an individual so that you can be comfortable, fulfilled, and walking in your truth. Whatever it is you need to surrender, you need to go ahead and do that. Um, and for this one specific situation, this whole prenuptial and children's thing, because I know that's for someone specifically, um... Listen, and the crazy thing is, it's like the kids aren't even born yet, or the future kids aren't even born yet, and the fact that they're giving to, giving it to me as though there's future kids, somebody's going to go ahead and compromise themselves. But tomorrow always comes if you're blessed, and you always have the opportunity to change your mind. That's all I'm going to say. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I will talk to you all very soon. I don't know why I sound <laughs> lady. <laughs>